How's it going guys? As you can see, I've got a video this week. <laughs> but uh, this week it's gonna be basically on a Chase Hall that I've got apparently now. But uh, I got Chase Hall and then I got a mail call. And through the mail it's gonna be, I got a letter from Big Dog Dave over there. And uh, yeah, can't wait to open that. And then I have a trade with Curtis at Mystery Pop Theater. So I got that and I can't wait to open it. So let's get started. Now with the first pop that I got, these are more Christmas gifts, these first two. So they're ones that I've really wanted and thank you to him for definitely get the, getting these for me. It's actually very appreciated. I love both of these pops that I got. Then the first one is Joker, and it is the Chase Joker from Persona 5. Now, if you guys haven't played Persona 5, it's the main character of the game. And uh, definitely one that I've been looking for, because I have all the other characters. It's just the Chase one I've never gotten, because it was out of my price range that I was willing to spend for it. But he got me this, and I can't thank him enough. And of course, I did put them in the vaulted vinyl pop protectors. I did buy the pop protectors on Black Friday when they were doing a sale for them. I didn't get anything big for uh, their prizes, but I did get 10% off their website. So that's pretty cool. So there's the first pop that I got. The second one and the, the second pop that he got me is the Atom Bomb Chase. Now... I really, really liked this chase just because of the glow with it. Now, I know it's dropped in value. Both of them have, but it's no big deal. I love these two pops. They're probably two of my favorites. I, I've i been wanting both of these for probably a year now, and I'm just happy that I finally got them. Now, here is Atom Bomb. And of course, his head and along with the mushroom cloud up here glows. It is really, really cool. And I don't have any of them, uh, any other ones from the line except for Beastly Boyd. But he is, he's pretty cool. He is really cool. But uh, yeah, those are the two that I got for at least my Christmas gift from one of my coworkers. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. These ones are definitely ones that I've really, really wanted. All right, now we're getting into the Black Friday mystery boxes. Now, I, I didn't. I didn't uh, open them on a video, but I at least told people what I got. I've gotten four of those mystery boxes within the last couple of weeks. I got two of them Black Friday, the uh, Marvel mystery box from Black Friday. And I opened up two of them right there in the store, and I got two chases. Now, the first chase that I did get was, of course, Groot. Now, Groot is actually one of the cool ones that I've been wanting in it, and that and Deadpool, but uh, here he is. Now, the variant of him is sitting with a bunch of, like, snacks around him, which was pretty cool, too. And, uh, yeah, I, I definitely got him. I put the sticker in here, too, just to be safe with it, because I actually like that sticker. And, uh, yeah, they didn't have any damage on them. They were just bowed out a little bit like they normally are with the... Uh, the Funko shop, uh, not the Funko shop, but the uh, Black Friday boxes. They like to really hang, not hang. They really like to uh, stuff them in there and then with no protection, but that happens. And then the next one I got was, of course, Deadpool. Now, I got the Deadpool chase with those two, so I got those two right there. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's is actually pretty cool because it's unmasked, so can't complain with it. I actually really wanted this one, too, but there he is, and I got the sticker behind him, too. Same thing. He was just bowed out a little bit, so I just put him in this protector, and, yeah, they, these are good protectors. That is for sure. And then I'll get to the bottom here. <clears throat> Now, before I get to these last two, I am going to show off one that it's not a chase, but it's something that I really, really, really wanted, and I couldn't get him for the longest time, so I seen this guy at Walmart, and I bought him up as quickly as I could, and it is Stan Lee. 
Now this is, I think, the Watcher Stanley when he was in space talking to the Watchers. Now, if you guys don't know me, I'm a big Stan Lee guy. I have pretty much all of these Stan Lees. It's just this is the one I was needing. Now it's going to go right there along the lines of my signed Stan Lee that I have. And uh, yeah, this is this is definitely a good one. And I'll set this over here with them. Now, these two chases, these last two chases that I got, these were pre-orders through GameStop. Now, I didn't expect to get them. That's the thing. I just expected to get the commons because I'm a big, big fan of this show. But I got two number five chases. Now, I did pre-order two because the thing is with that, I like to pre-order ones that I know I'm either going to open up or put aside because I always ask people if they have one and if they don't I always like to help them out and give them one away but uh I definitely picked these two up because of course I had two pre-orders so they didn't have any other ones besides these two so I had to pick them up now let's not say I'm I'm doing that. I did this because I wanted to be self or uh, selfish and pick up both chases, but I pre-ordered two of them, and the only two that were available were the chases. If I had an opportunity to, uh, like, if I got a common one, and if they had a common one and a chase one, I would pick up one common, one chase, because, of course, I want the complete set. But they had both of these, and I don't think they were getting any of these anytime soon so I would just picked up both of them now both of them are pretty cool um, I did pre-order Vanya too but she didn't show up yet so I'm still waiting on her and the what I do is I pre-order the whole set and then I pre-order an extra one I didn't even know they were supposed to have chases for number five all I knew is that they had one for Vanya, and I pre-ordered one of hers, so just, it was a surprise for this one, that is, that's for sure. But uh, those were all the chases that I got, plus the, the Stan Lee. Now I'll get into the mail, get into Mr. Big Dog Dave's here first, just so I know I get into his. Now, so just so everybody knows, we are supposed to be doing a live stream at some point because me, along with uh, the originals of the group, like B Cobb, Mystery Pop Theater, and uh, Justin over at Pop in Hand, uh, all got that Black Friday chalice box, the gold one. So at some point, we're all going to be doing a live stream for that. Now, I don't know the time, I don't know when, I don't know what we're going to do, but at least we know that we're going to have that, so that one should be cool for everyone to see, just so I can let everybody know while I'm opening this. Okay, so open this up. That's a cool picture. I will agree. That is a cool picture. It says, Hi, Josh. This is Lotso. He said to just buy him already. Love, Lotso. Merry Christmas. Love, Big Dog Dave. <laughs> That's awesome. And it has Lotso, and then in the middle of it, it says, uh, Jingle Ball Sack. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Okay. This one is definitely going back here, too. So, Dave... It is going in the background. It is going right underneath B cobs. Now I gotta put something else here to, at some point so that way it stays open, but it's gonna go right there. Actually, I might just try to put your letter here too. Oh well, it's gonna keep it open, but that is pretty cool. Thank you, Dave, I appreciate it. And <laughs> that was definitely a cool letter. Definitely a cool letter. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, so getting into the last one. Now the last one is the trade that I had with Mystery Pop Theater. Now if you guys didn't go see his video, please go look at his channel because 
he he's been doing pretty good. He's been doing pretty good. We want you to go look at his video of what he got because we we did do a cool trade with it. It was from one of his pops from uh, one of his big boxes that he got. I think it was one of the Toy USA ones. It was something that he sh he showed me, and I was like, I inst instantly wanted one of these the two that I could afford. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to definitely set this aside here. Get the nice bubble wrap here, Curtis. All right. Now, I already know what it is, so I'm not trying to hide this. But... All right. Now, here he is, and it is V for Vendetta. Now... I loved this movie when it originally came out and when everyone uh, everyone's talking about this movie every once in a while they're always saying oh it's a controversial movie it's a controversial this controversial that I'm like well first of all it's a good movie it's something that no one expected but it was definitely one that I wanted for the collection it's a uh, it's definitely an older pop from 2015 so I I always tell people I'm always looking for older pops, ones that I can actually afford, but definitely like the older pops, and V for Vendetta was one of them that I actually wanted, but uh, yeah, this one, this one's definitely staying for a while, gonna put him in a vaulted uh, protector too, but uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much all I got from the last couple of weeks, now, like I said, we are planning on doing a live stream at some point for those $200 chalice gold mystery boxes but uh just gotta wait for them to get here because uh we've been waiting for what this is gonna go on to the second week that we've been waiting for them but it happens we got the shipping confirmation at least I did so hopefully we get them here by the end of this week and probably get the video out next week so it just depends on when but until then, I will see you guys in the next video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye.